I have the great pleasure right now of being joined by the rising star in urology research award recipient, Dr. Ryan Flanagan. First off, I want to say congratulations. Thank you so much. So grateful for the award. So thank you for being here. Tell me a little bit about the research that garnered you this award. One of my areas of interest is uh, something called non-obstructive vasospermia. So these are male patients that don't produce any sperm, at least from uh, surgical treatments with micro testes, we might be able to find sperm half of the time, but the other half the time, we really don't have any options. So what to do about it? Um, and this is where most of my research focus is. Um, the topic of the research grant uh, for this award was how do we create a pipeline for creating a regenerative uh, therapy for, for these patients? So um, the concept is that we're trying to understand how the cells are misbehaving that are not supporting the process of sperm production and identify some key pathways that we can target in a precision medicine type of fashion. And then uh, on the back end, how do we help support these cells to grow um, in the lab, in vitro, so that it can be paired with something like IVF. So we're using 3D bioprinting to try to get the cell patterning or the environment uh, just like we see it in the human body, so it can help support those stem cells to turn into sperm. And then the later parts of the, the grant are to integrate some of that computational information that we've learned about cell function and differentiation, and then apply it to what we're creating and bioprinting uh, in vitro. Such a potential great impact for patients who've been struggling with infertility, feeling horribly about it, thinking that there's hope. Yeah, you know, since we published some of our, our early studies, I've had a lot of patients around the world reach out with emails. Where's the research at? Is, is there any way I can be part of this? Uh, so it's, you know, really heartwarming that, um, you know, it seems like it's, it's near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, obviously, and, and this is really the early stages of trying to set the groundwork um, for it with, within our lab and integrating all the great work that's been done uh, from others in our field, you know, before me. And how does winning this award maybe open the door for a potential further research project to really push this forward? It, you know, it's, it, it helps in so many ways. Um, it helps in terms of visibility on the topic. It helps in terms of forming, you know, meaningful collaborations with others locally, nationally, internationally. And then also just the funding itself, it allows us to, you know, dedicate more time to it, to hire more people, um, get more brains working on this project and, and really accelerate its development. If I'm a physician who treats infertility, if I am a male patient who is infertile, I'm asking one question and that is, when might this be in clinical use? <sighs> it's a really good question. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's probably many years away is my, my guess. There's so many stages of development and one, creating the technology, understanding the science, creating the technology, applying it, and then, you know, really importantly, gain the safety data. If we can get there, making sure we're doing good things and we're not doing anything harmful. Um, so there's a lot of steps to development, but you know, it's a, it's a process and incrementally you get the check boxes, make the, the incremental developments and, and hopefully we arrive there as a field um, through, through working together. Oh, we're so glad you're working on it. Congratulations on your award and your research. Dr. Flanagan, thank you. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you.